welcome back to the messy patio. Uh, today I am starting some peas, which I had started early in the year. However, I got no peas. I think a squirrel or the birds have eaten all of the seedlings. So they started coming up and then vanished. So I thought maybe if I start the seeds in trays inside, then I can get them in for a fall harvest. So this is an experiment, I've never done, or I've never had success with peas before. Um, I do have four different varieties that I'm gonna try. So let's go, wish me luck. Okay, so it looks like I pulled out one of my tray liners to go ahead and prep my soil in. I think it was just the closest thing I had laying around. And I am saturating my soil before I get the individual trays ready. You want to make sure you start your seeds off in a nice damp soil base so they don't dry out early. Okay, so here I am just packing one of my eight cell trays that I saved over from my annual flowers. I tend to keep these trays in different containers around from season to season. They come in handy for different garden projects and I like to try to be a little sustainable when I can. Um, I, oh, that's a stick. And I try to pack the soil in pretty snugly but not too tight. You want to make sure that the, the roots are going to have some wiggle room in there. Also, I noticed that I left the tags on the annuals. It's a little bit laziness, um, but I also found that it's a good spot to go ahead and put the cultivar or label um, each of the seeds that I'm starting. trays all ready to go. I have my pea seeds soaking in water. I let these go for just a few hours this afternoon. I think generally we want to try to do this overnight, um, but I was really excited to get this project going. Um, and I just used some, looks like soup bowls that I had in the kitchen, filled about halfway with water, and I just let the seeds soak. And I'm just doing one, I think some cells have two seeds per cell since they are a larger size.
Also, I went ahead and labeled each bowl with a post-it note of each variety of seed that I'm working with. They're all just slightly different. So this first variety is Laxton's Progress number nine. It's a shelling pea, and I believe it does require trellising. The second is a snow pea called Avalanche, and it should have a 60 day maturity date. And the third is called Sugar Daddy. It's a sugar snap pea at 24 inches. It should not require trellising, and it's a 60 to 65 maturity date. And the last is at, called Extra Early. It's also a shelling pea at 24 inches, and it should mature in just about 50 days. Thank you for joining me today while I work on that little experiment. And if you would like to help keep me motivated in my garden or just see more clips of my dog living her best life, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you. Ew, Jeff. <laughs>